Thank you for joining me. I'm Nola Simon. I'm the host of the Hybrid Remote Center of Excellence. And this podcast is actually about community. I had recently shut down a community that I formed around the podcast. I figured it would be easier to attract people to actually talk about the podcast, and it's not. So I shut that community down. But I had an idea for another community. I've been really considering it for the last few months. And People often perceive that it's an us versus me mentality when it comes to hybrid remote. There's a company and then there's what the employees want. And I personally don't perceive it to be an either or. My goal, my vision, what I'd love to see is that a company and employees are working in step to co-create the future of work that is going to help the company succeed and the employees thrive. Now, it might be Pollyanna, it might not be your reality. It hasn't been my reality, but it is still something that I think is possible and we could see at some point in the future. So far, my consulting, uh, a lot of my podcast has been focused on leadership, on working with organizations and people who are in HR and executive leadership to really make those things happen because they have the budgets, they have the decision-making power, but there's a missed opportunity. And it's really my reality of what I actually entered into this space with, which was I was in customer service. I didn't have any power. I didn't have any influence except what I gave myself and how I made it reality for my help, myself stepping up into a pilot becoming a go-to resource and eventually leading that project and then stepping into the consulting the way that I have. I think there's an opportunity to build a community that represents the resources and help that I needed when I was advocating for myself and I never had because I did it and I made temporary alleys with my coworkers at the time and it's not like I didn't have support. I just didn't have developed community. And so that's where I've created this this idea called the flexible path. And really, wherever you are on that path, whether you already have flexibility, whether you're just starting or whether you've lost it, you've returned to office, it's a journey, right? You can pick it up wherever you happen to be. But you have to understand where you are, what your reality is, and where you'd like to go. And having community and people who've uh, experienced this, who are experts in it, who have had 10 years, I've had 10, over 10 years of experience in in making things happen to support my reality of work from home. Eventually, I'd like to get to the point where I travel more. I don't have that yet. I haven't made that happen for myself as of yet, but it's still in the books and it's still something that I have the possibility of making happen. So that's where my idea of working with employees, and again, all people in a company are employees, whether you're an executive leader, whether you're a manager, whether you're training, whether you're HR, all of you have a different perspective on what it's like to look for that company. And individually, you all have needs and wants and desires for flexibility within your work. Some of it's location, some of it's time, some of it's task-oriented there's all kinds of different interpretations of what flexibility is, right? And that's where I think there's an opportunity. Now, I've written posts. I've written a newsletter. I'm part of John Asperian's group. If you don't know who he is, he's actually a LinkedIn trainer. And he reviewed it for me. And his concise response was, get to the point. So I'm doing a podcast because it's easier for me to do it verbally. And it's a different form of talking about my motivations, And I think sometimes it's good to hear it in person, hear the voice, hear the intentionality behind it. So again, I've chosen to go with Mighty Networks. I like the functionality of it. It's going to be hosted there. I am building it monthly. So we are going to start with clarity. So in order to know where your path goes, you have to know where you're starting and know where you want to go. So January is going to be like a clarity challenge to make sure that you understand what it is you've got, what's good, what's bad, and where it is you want to go. So I'll design that. And then I perceive this to be a community where I'm responsive really to the people who are I'm actually members in the community. So I have a tentative theme plan. There will be courses, there will be community built into it. 
and, and there will be a strategy that I'm announcing as we go along throughout the way, but it is something that I'm going to build on the fly, and that'll allow me to be really intentional in responding to the people who happen to be in the community at the beginning. So I do want to build it with intentionality. Yes, there will be monthly memberships. There will be annual memberships. There is going to be a lifetime membership. The pricing is on the website. I'm not going to get into that right now. But one thing I do want to highlight is I want this to be a community where people feel welcome and finances can be a barrier, especially sometimes if, you're, if you've got young children. So I wanted to make it flexible enough that we could offer memberships. So that's something that your membership, if you pay and you have the, the, the flexibility and, and the ability to pay, your membership is actually going to be funding scholarships. So again, there's no real hoops that you have to jump through. I'm just going to use it as like an information gathering exercise, ask questions, and it's really going to be first come, first serve, really. Uh, as long as you're answering those questions, I don't see a problem with why you'd want to have the scholarship. I'm not going to actually determine financial need or anything like that. If you're applying for a scholarship, I'm going to trust that you need it. And there's also a freemium option. That, that's the other thing that the paid memberships would be funding as well, too, which would be essentially a plan that's half the cost, right? Now, the goal would be, because it's going to develop over 12 months, you'd want to stay in it for a year. So I will make monthly memberships available, but with the monthly membership, I'm looking for you to be engaging, and I'm going to be setting the expectation that if you're joining for a month or two, you're probably not going to get the full value of what it is you're signing up for. So again, to fit into all the budgets that possibly people have, I'll make it available, but I would still consider that's actually probably going to be the most expensive way to join. So there's that. And really what the goal is to help you with advocacy, right? And it takes courage and guts to put out what you want. It's not just the people that you work with. It's not the people that you report to. It's your family that can impact it, your neighbors, your friends. Everybody has a different worldview, different mindset. And so it's really important to be able to self-advocate at all those different levels. And it really affects a lot of different layers. So there's a systematic aspect to it as well, but there's also how does it fuel your job? How does it fuel your career development? How does it benefit or deter your relationships? All of that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's all that we're going to be looking at throughout the membership as well too. So the idea is really to role model, to teach, to allow space for you to really explore what it's like to work really well asynchronously, but also have some sync time. I will be running uh, live webinars through it as well too. There's going to be like a live course aspect to it, but it's also going to be something that's going to be built so that if you don't, like you don't have to be there, it's going to be well supported synchronously as well too, or asynchronously. So that's really what the point is. Hopefully it's brief. <laughs> I'm going to keep it short. I'm at eight minutes, so it's probably not to the point enough, but at least it gives you an idea. And so the, you can sign up now. It is active. It's called The Flexible Path. I've got links on LinkedIn. I'll put it in the show notes. But you can also join right now. You'll have access to the welcome page and to the community page. You'll be able to chat with me, do a tour of Mighty Networks, set up your profile, finish the checklist, and get familiar with how the tech works. Uh, it, it's really easy to use and I quite like it. But the other thing you'll have access to is, is me. I'll be in there all the time as well too. So if you do want to chat, if you do want to ask questions and really get a head start on January, you can too. I'm going to run January as a clarity challenge and we're not going to start until January 8th because I know a lot of kids aren't going back to school until January 8th. So I think that's the, the good date for it. That's the plan. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to DM me, email me, nola at nolasimon.com. 